Hey, my name's Shadow Steel, and you're watching Trackside. All aboard? All right. So I am back with this episode today on Trackside, and um, boy, do I have a rant for you guys. It is one hell of a rant. And it actually has to deal with Dovetail Games, ironically. The guys who actually made this route. I am infuriated with them at this point. I've only been, like, I've only braked for about, oh, a few minutes or so. But I recently learned, thanks to a pre-order that went up just now, as I'm recording this, that, um, this DLC is no lo the pre-order DLC is essentially null and void for me. I can't use it. I can't play it. I can't do anything with it. Why? Because one freaking locomotive DLC has been removed off Steam that is required to run the, the, the other DLC that's released by Steam Sound Supreme. The, this is absolutely infuriating for me. Why, for the love of God, would you remove a product off Steam without having a single backup DLC? Something you can put in its place as soon as it's ready to be taken down. Because that is good business practice. What, what Dovetails Games did, uh, right off the bat... Okay, so what I'm saying, so what I'm explaining here is, um, is that the Kigley... Kigley Worth and Worth Valley Railway was pre-orders were released for the game just recently, just today, essentially. And when they released the the pre-orders, they uh, mentioned that two locomotive that one of the locomotives required was the standard Jubilee class locomotive. This locomotive has been removed off Steam as of as of twenty seventeen, I think it was twenty eighteen. I wasn't even aware of it. And I am in, it just, like, this happens, this happened before. I talked about it last episode, but the, um, Portland Terminal route was removed recently. And, um, from all indications, I thought it was a licensing issue. It was something that I thought that, um, whoopsie. Oops. Hold on. I'm gonna go backwards. So what I thought the issue was was that um Wait what? Go via runaround? Yeah, that seems about right. So what I thought happened essentially so what actually happened was that um, initially I thought it was a licensing issue, but from all indications it said that the main reason for the removal, from what I've been hearing, the main reason for a lot of these removals was quality. Here's an idea, here's a thought that I had, bullshit. There is no way that if this was a quality issue, these games would be removed off Steam. These DLCs would be removed off Steam. If it was a quality issue, you would allow people to still buy the game for the most part, unless it was completely, utterly fucking broken. Jesus H. Christ. I mean, seriously. I just look. I looked it up. The locomotive is still available, for the most part, through Amazon UK. However, the... The stickling point for this is that you can only get it through the UK. You can only play it if you have a PC system that is geared for the U that is in the UK. Otherwise, you can't play the damn DLC item. You're dead o de DOA. So essentially, this travel this debacle. And granted, Steam has the, this has happened before with other games. Other games have been removed off Steam because of a uh, like some sort of big issue that they said that look, we're gonna need to fix, we're gonna need to repair this, or else this game is you know gonna be sort of not worth it to play. But 
And then they took the game off Steam. And then, you know, maybe a few weeks later or so, it was removed off... It was put back on Steam. One prime example was, um... I, wanted, I think it was Batman Arkham, Arkham Knight was notoriously broken when it was released that they actually stopped selling the game on Steam. And what ended up happening was that all that was done was that the re- buy button remo- was removed off Steam. The game was still said uh, out and everything. Like, the game was already out and everything. But they decided, well, we're going to have to remove the buy button off here just so people don't end up buying the broken, shitty game we released. And Dovetail could have easily done the same goddamn thing. But, and there's a lot of ways that they could have done this. They could have, what, in some ways that they could have done, they could have um, released the game. They could have ended up, um, uh, essentially, releasing the game for the most part. They could have, they could have, um, you know, re- kept the DLC up until they were ready to re-release the DLC. You know, give a revamp of what they were saying. Um, but for some reason, they said, no, we're going to take this down for as long as possible. And you're going to wait until we get everything set up. And for me, it's like, the fuck are you doing? This was the dumbest decision I've ever heard from Dovetail Games. And it just makes me infuriated. It's just, why? Why did you end up doing this? I posted up on the, on the, on a Railwork Discord on the part of, uh, like, the locomotive is gone, but the pre-order says that it's required, and I'm like, there's no way any peop- anybody outside of the UK can actually play this route anymore, because, one, you're missing a good chunk of DLC, you're missing a single item of DLC that essentially is required to run the goddamn route. Granted, it's one locomotive rolling stock. It's one locomotive. And granted, there's not much of a worry for this right now. If the locomotive is absolutely, like, any scenario that includes that locomotive can be just simply replaced. If you have the right tools. But it's the fact that Steam, like Dovetail Games and Steam, didn't have the locomotive stay up. This has happened for so many other DLCs on their game that it's become a joke at this point to even put something on your wish list that's pretty old and without buying it like within days. Because within a couple days, that DLC is gone. It's getting ridiculous. And Steam has had so many goddamn issues recently that this has become such an issue. Like, this is one of those things that I'm like, okay, sure, why not? Yeah, okay. What what the fuck are you doing now? It's just, I don't fucking know. Okay, somebody's contacting me right as the recording's going on about this DLC. We got a contact here. Um, so I got Discord up in the background right now as the game's going on. So I got Railworks going on and then Discord up, uh, talking with a few people. And this is happening quite a bit now. But, um, this has become, like, one of those, like, like, okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so he's contacted me. Well, I'm speeding now. Yeah, look some water here. Uh. Okay. Oh. So it looks like he just said that. The, so the guy that just contacted me simply said, "Like, okay, so it looks like Dovetail Games is gonna have to re-release the locomotive again." They are not like they don't care. I know for a fact that if the if it doesn't go straight through Dovetail or Steam, the DLC doesn't exist to them. And this is one of those things like that has gotten on my nerves lately. Because I'm starting to step away from Steam. 
And as a result, I'm stepping away from groups like the Dovetail Game Store and everything. And this is a bit, big trouble since uh, Railworks, in the next couple of days, is going to be going into 64-bit. And it's just like, it just, I don't understand what's happening. I honestly just don't know what's happening. We got water. We need water in the boiler before we hit the climb. Oh, we're hitting it. We're hitting it. Setting off the blower. We need to go uphill. So, this video might be a little shorter in terms of length, but at least I got a rant out of the way. Okay, I'm going to need to put everything I got, I have in this. If I remember right, 68 was where the locomotive was able to grab some, gr grab some ground. Okay, we're good. So we're on a 2.3% grade. We're struggling a little bit, but we don't really... We're not too bad off. If I remember right, there was another train that's supposed to... I'm supposed to be running into. Unless he's already passed. Sir? Oh, the signal's right. There he is. There's a little meetup that's supposed to happen as we pa pass through. But because of just how, how much of a struggle I've done with these scenarios, I've essentially made this route pretty much a struggle all the way through. There is a consist up there. Safety valve's going off. You know, 84 percent water in the boiler. Keeping an eye on the wheels here. Want them to grip as much as possible. I guess try and apply sand. I don't see it working though. It's really struggling. I really need some sand in the ground. She's really struggling. Where is the sand? That's a dampener. It won't let me sand. There's no sand in this locomotive? That's a dickin'. I might not be able to release the scenario on the workshop because because of the goddamn locomotive not having any sand. Ah! Oh 
She's got a full head of steam and everything, so she's not doing too bad. There goes the dogs. We're nearing the top of the grade, thankfully. So if we can keep her going, we might be able to do we might be able to do this. We also missed our chance to meet up with the steam. Meet up with the freight, but that's okay. I didn't follow this guy. Got a red block. I didn't know what kind of contest would go down this line. So I just made a random contest. Oh god, get out of there. Maybe next time I'll show you guys the contest in full. We got a yellow block. We got our meetup. He's still struggling, but we can see him down the hill. <laughs> Poor little guy. We have 14 cars behind us. And these 14 cars are one hell of a drag for him. Safeties keep going off though. That's good. Means we got, oh, so that's where the safety valves are. They're on the whistle. Which is kind of interesting. Now imagine if this contest was loaded. I'm in the ground. I'm underground. I'm above the, I'm above the ground. The local one is rolling by. Ah, son of a bitch. So I think I took this shot before. Might as well. We've done, we've, <laughs> my god, this thing is just a, one hell of a locomotive to say the least. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, get a good shot of these guys sitting side by side. Slowly as they approach the camera. There we go, that's good enough. That's in this angle. Starting to pick up theme again. Gotta be careful. Now that we've really started entering the yard, we can go ahead and start slowing down. Well, this episode didn't take long at all. Hmm. You know what? I might have an idea. Whoops. Maybe not if I can keep the train from running the signal here. Easy does it as we pull to a stop. Get the water in there and clear it out. Whoops, hello. Oh. Nice work. Hopefully. Looks like we've made it in time. Looks like we made it in time, too. It looks like we've made it in time. Fuck, I can't read, read that thing. Looks like we've made it in time, too. Make sure you're ready for the next run. Oh, there goes the audio. <laughs> Alright, target's complete. 29 out of 29. Almost... Screwed up horribly there. Um, hmm. 
How long have I been recording for? It couldn't have been that long. Oh, I've been recording for about 20 minutes. Okay. Well, guys, I um, hope you've enjoyed the redo of the Steam on the Quincy. Um, next episode, I'm going to do a redo of the D-Day preparation scenario. And we'll do a similar property to like what we did this time around. Uh, uh, episode of the Railwork Sundays. And if the scenario gets long enough, a trackside subsequent episode to kind of continue on the rep episode of the whole. So like and comment down below. Subscribe if you guys want more. And I will see you guys in the very next episode. And don't worry, there's a reason why there's no audio in the menus. Take care, everyone.